happy holidays and welcome to Metrocasting. I'm Doug Farley. We are on the Berwick Boulevard today to bring you these particular stories and we begin with music. You know, it comes in many forms and for hundreds of years, for the masses anyway, the sound of a pipe organ has literally been music to their ears. But the traditional look of a pipe organ is changing these days thanks to the digital age. When you think of a pipe organ, images of the Phantom of the Opera may come to you. Or maybe you get an image of the world's largest pipe organ, the Wanamaker, located in Macy's in Philadelphia. Or maybe you just think of your own church pipe organ. What you most likely don't get is an image of a virtual pipe organ. Or rather, a pipe organ you can play through your personal computer at home. And that's just what one area man has done. He has put together a rather remarkable sounding pipe organ using speakers, a keyboard, some software, and his home computer. I worked on pipe organs when I was first got out of high school, but uh, always wanting to own one, the problem was money and space. They do take a huge amount of space. Um, years ago I had an electronic instrument, electronic church organ, and as they got more into from when they moved from analog to digital technology, the, uh, the quality got so good that uh, it actually drove my interest even more. And it was only recently that I saw that with the power of home computers, that the processing power and the software were available, that we could even exceed the quality of professional electronic church organs. Now they're called virtual pipe organs. And uh, I guess seeing that being able to realize my dream and actually have a pipe organ in my home was now achievable uh, through the latest state-of-the-art uh, digital technology. It all boils down to what kind of quality level you're trying to achieve and I'm trying to go to the extreme and literally have uh, like have Salisbury Cathedral here in my basement and the way to do that is having a computer with as much uh, processor power as possible because um, in order to get proper polyphony and polyphony means how many notes can I play at once before they start dropping off uh, I would say a typical keyboard instrument that you would buy at the store by the time you play more than about 16 18 notes the next note you play makes an earlier note drop off. They can only play so many notes at a time. With this kind of horsepower, we can play equivalent to thousands of pipes at once without any of them dropping off. And the secret is computer horsepower and memory, lots and lots of memory. All that memory, of course, needs to run through a multiple processor system, which allows for faster and more reliable access. Having the entire sample set of a large cathedral organ stored in memory versus hard drive allows that instantaneous access. If you're playing a piece and it has to go out and go to the hard drive to get the next pipe sample, there's just not enough time. It'll eventually fall behind. But being able to store the entire sample set into memory is uh, one of the other items that makes this so successful. Now, a lot of the technical information and support for Bob's virtual organ came from Hopwork.com and its forum users. But Bob is quick to point out that Hopwork is not trying to replace traditional pipe organs, but rather just offer an alternative. My initial thought was, this can't be true, and it's got to have a flaw, and having worked in the organ business, 
I figured I'd be able to detect the flaws. And that and having professional artists actually play on it and get their feedback, what they think. And it's like, nah, this can't be. And uh, just to give you an example, uh, right here in Pennsylvania, you have the great Allen Organ Company down in McCungie that builds professional church organs. And, uh, and they're really fine instruments. I don't want to disparage them, but this gives them a run for their money. It really does. Uh, to have a really decent sized Allen organ would probably run forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. And so my initial thought was, there's no way you're going to approach that. But the more I got into it, the more I fine-tuned the sound system, fine-tuned the, uh, the software, put the proper pipe samples in, when I first played it, it was like, oh, wow. <laughs> Just, you could, I couldn't believe what I heard. And essentially, sitting here in the basement, you just, you can put yourself in these uh, great edifice structures that contain an organ. It sounds like you're there. We brought famed local organist, Emil Kitten along with us for a test run on Bob's system. And from the first notes, well, you can tell from the look on his face how good this virtual pipe organ sounds. Very nice. Interesting, huh? Well, you're not kidding. Who would think so? Once you have the computer power in place, as you can see, all you really need next to make the virtual pipe organ functional is a keyboard or two and some decent speakers. But as you may have gathered, you don't necessarily need to know how to play a keyboard. There are MIDI, or Musical Instrument Digital Interface files available that you can download into your computer that will play your virtual pipe organ for you. If a true artist is going to play on these keyboards, the motions that they make are recorded precisely. They can also be played back. So I have friends who are uh, classically trained uh, world-renowned organist, they will play at their location and then email me their performance. And I can then hear their performance here at home. So um, people who have player action pianos, maybe they don't play the piano, but they put the roll in and uh, it plays by itself. Well, essentially that's what we have, only we're playing the pipe organ. And again, with MIDI files, you can also hear music on different types of pipe organs. Anything from the sound of a cathedral organ, to the sound of the old Paramount Theater Mighty Wurlitzer organ in New York City. I think the attraction is the music itself. Uh, number one, uh, I like what's called Baroque era music, which is uh, 16th, 17th century. And the masters that produced that music of that era were, I guess when I hear the music, I actually see mathematics. The, I see the relationship of the mathematics and the music. and. It's kind of like an artist having a palette of paint and being able to mix and blend to get the perfect color that they're looking for. The pipe organ allows you to take the perfect blend of stops to get the exact sound color you want. And the fact that I could have Bach music playing while I adjust the tone colors for myself, it's just very, uh, I don't know, it's just very satisfying. You should know that putting together a virtual pipe organ, while not necessarily hard if you have some decent computer skills, can be a bit on the expensive side, still not nearly as expensive as a real pipe organ would cost you. The advice is to get onto the Hopwork website and do some research. If you do things right, oh what a sound you are going to hear, it really is impressive. 